Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex and in this video we'll look at how I have loaded 90 trading platforms on one computer. And on your screen you can actually see those 90 platforms, here's 30 of them, there's another 20, another 20, another 20, all on the same computer. This is a bit of an advanced topic for traders, uh, it only applies to serious traders who do a lot of forward trading of their strategies and their settings. And also traders that use portfolio trading. So using many platforms is important for traders who want to improve their robot settings on a continuous basis using actual trading. Most traders try and optimize their robots to find the best settings. Now those settings are most probably the most unreliable settings because they are like a lotto number that is unlikely to repeat into the future. And as I've mentioned earlier, it's also important to traders who trade large portfolios. So what they would do is they would trade 20 robots on a demo account and only select three or four of those for their live accounts. And this would be a continuous process. They would continuously improve their demo account robot and continuously improve their live robots. So let's have a look at the process of creating so many trading platforms on one computer. The normal restriction on MT4 platforms is 32. So if you go onto your computer, it will not let you open more platforms. But using this approach, you can open a lot more platforms on the same computer. So what I do is I create new users on my computer. So I would be one user, I'll create another one and another one, another one, and I'll show you how I do that. Then I create many trading plot platforms for every user. So as you've seen in the previous slide, those were the various platforms uh, that were created for each of the users. And here's the crux, crux of the matter. If all the users are actively logged into your platforms, they will trade. So those 90 platforms will trade at the same time and will be connected to the broker's terminal. So let's look at the process of creating a new user and I've laid it out here, I've given you some pictures to follow. So what you would do is you right click on the start button and then select settings. You would then click on accounts and scroll down to the other users. Once you're there you would select add account and then here's the picture I don't have this person sign in for information and there is the um, information that you that is where you will click you will not try and open a Microsoft uh, account for the person you would just use that then you would select add user without a Microsoft account and there you are that's the next tab that will uh, will appear and you then just add a user without a Microsoft account so that makes it so much less complicated for that particular user and what I've done is I've actually added a user called the make money EA because I'm trading the tradable ADX and the tradable RSI and the make money EA and I'm actually instead of giving the user a name I'm actually giving the sign in the function for that particular sign in. Then just complete the questions and the new account will be added as shown here. So you'll have a whole list of user accounts that you can use to trade the MetaTrader platforms. Now I have made two other videos which you can go and watch and these videos show you how to stack your various platforms. There's 20 stacked platforms and also how to create many MT4 platforms on one computer, how to actually just duplicate each platform down so to open all of these um, platforms. So please go and watch these two videos if you are interested in this particular topic. Uh, and when you log into your computer, you'll be given a whole list of users like I'm showing there. And you just click on which one you want to use and you log in and you can then use that particular users platforms and uh, do work on that particular side of things and then but the, the big point is when you're trading you need to have all of these users logged in so that they are actively communicating 
communicating with your broker terminal. And then to some further points uh, is that here's the uh, computer that I'm using. It is quite a powerful one, but uh, you can do this with less powerful computers. Uh, give it a go. Uh, what you need to do is how much uh, to monitor how much resource your computer is using. Here's that particular computer's resource user. You can see it's only using a very small amount of the CPU and a small amount of the memory. And uh, also you can look at the performance. Here you can see I'm using 24 cores on this particular computer. You will most probably have less if you have a, 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 a weaker computer. But again, as I've mentioned, it will still work on weaker computers computers and an, a, a very good tool that I found works pretty well is the core temp tool you can just google it and download a free copy of it and it will monitor the temperature of your cores and the amount of usage each core is participating in so those are those are tips if you are going to use these high usage computers also you know th this is exactly what happens when you create a vps the vps service takes a terminal and then allocates a whole number of users to that particular terminal and that also explains that why you could run out of your allowance provided by the VPS supply because if other users go over their allowance then the computer slows down and you are very badly affected. This is basically a VPS that I'm creating where I am managing the whole situation. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned that you can exceed the 32 platform restriction provided by MetaTrader and you can trade so many more platforms on one computer. You can also apply this principle to a whole lot of other apps that you might be using. So from me, Alex Aploy, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you haven't done that already and I'll see you in the next video. Cheerio!